Lauren, I've been trying to come up with the right words to say to you. And all I can come to mind is probably a good ten minute video. You remember September 11th? Thousands and thousands of innocent people. Do you remember the people who got their heads cut off with a knife? And the people who recorded it and sent it to America? Who's really torturing who, Warren? I think you need to shut your mouth and do actual research. Like asking the troops yourself. If you can hold your composure for that long. You have a pretty mean looking scowl about you. You can sure scream and yell and curse and spit and whatever. But you're nothing. I hope you enjoy talking like that, because it's people like me who's giving it to you. I think you forget about September 11th. Twin Towers? Ring a bell? I think you forget about other innocent people who got their heads cut off. Those people had families. Children, friends, mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters. How dare you sit there and say troops don't deserve yours or anybody's respect. It brings great comfort to know that I'm fighting for people like you. Speaking from a troop's perspective, yes, I knew exactly what I was getting to when I signed up. Do I want to get deployed to Iraq? No. If I do, I'm going to do my job. I'm going to do it the best that I can. Which will be the best. Because I am part of the best. You actually believe what the media has to say? You actually believe the reports and stuff on the internet. You actually believe shit from Google? I think you're living in denial. I think you need to do better research other than the internet and articles from the internet. How about you live a day in a troop shoes, huh? You have absolutely no idea what we go through. You have absolutely no idea how it feels. Why don't you enter in ground zero? I hear it's still quiet there. I hear there's not a sound in that whole street of New York that makes a peep by the Twin Towers. How about you go on the front line of battle how about you sit there and you watch as more and more troops die? And how dare you bring up Pat Tillman? I've, ex I've expressed my grievances about Pat Tillman. But he knew what he was getting to when he got into this war. Why else would he turn a multi-million dollar contract to do so? He wasn't murdered. It was an accident. If you cleared your head of all your fucking cursing, you would know that. But Pat Tillman knew what he was doing. To bring only him up and not the other hundreds of troops that have died, that's quite petty of you. I don't think you'll ever see from another person's point of view. And yes, unfortunately, you do have the right to say what you want to say. But I have the right to report you. Enjoy life on YouTube while you can. I'm going to get you kicked off.